So when people think of seizures, most people think of uh, convulsive seizures. They think of someone falling down the ground, having hard jerking of you know, their arms and their legs, drooling, you know, and being out of it. Um, but there are many other kinds of seizures. A seizure can be as simple as someone just stopping their speech, staring off blankly for five or 10 seconds, and then going on with their conversation. So people can have a seizure, as we've talked about, a single event. When they start having more than one, and there's nothing that provokes it, they just come out of the blue, then the person has epilepsy. Uh, and usually that's the point that we say we need to look at treatment and figure out what to do to treat them so that the, the seizures stop. Seizures and epilepsy are very common. In the United States, there's estimated three million people affected, so almost as common as strokes, which most people are very familiar with. So most patients that require treatment are treated with medical therapy, uh, and that's certainly the vast majority of folks in the country. Uh, there are folks that, unfortunately, the medicine doesn't work as good as we would like. Uh, so for those folks, there are other options. Uh, there are uh, specialized diets we use in children that for a small uh, segment can be very effective. Uh, and then there are surgical uh, treatments, and there's a, there's a whole gamut of those depending on the type of seizures the child is having. Uh, and finally, there's actually a device that we use uh, that is sometimes with medication to try and control seizures.